In this video, we will discuss Krigler-Najjar syndrome type 1, which is a rare but severe inherited condition that affects the bilirubin metabolism. This Krigler-Najjar syndrome type 1 is mainly caused by a complete or near complete absence of an enzyme UDP glucuronyl transferase, which is very crucial for conjugating bilirubin. So without this particular enzyme, bilirubin cannot be processed by the liver leading to a significant buildup of unconjugated bilirubin in the blood. So this condition is inherited as an autosomal recessive pattern, meaning the defective gene must be inherited from both parents for the condition to manifest. So clinically, the condition presents with a persistent neonatal jaundice, which appears shortly after birth. And the high levels of unconjugated bilirubin can cross blood-brain barrier, we know this, leading to connectorus, which is a type of bilirubin-induced brain damage. So what happens with the connectorus is, connectorus causes neurological manifestations like lethargy, poor feeding, muscle rigidity and even seizures. So with symptoms appearing during infancy or later in childhood if bilirubin levels remain uncontrolled. So all these symptoms may develop if it is uncontrolled. So the diagnosis of this condition is mainly based upon the laboratory findings. So here blood tests show a significant increase in the indirect bilirubin often in the range of 20 to 50 milligrams per deciliter which is markedly elevated compared to that of other conditions. Importantly remember guys, in this condition, liver function tests are absolutely normal and there is no evidence of hemolysis which clearly helps to differentiate this condition from other hemolytic disorders where indirect bilirubin is elevated in the blood. So treatment is very critical because untreated krigler najjar syndrome type 1 is incompatible with life due to the risk of connectorus because which has mainly brain damage. So the mainstay of treatment is phototherapy which involves exposing the skin to specific wavelength of light. This light converts the unconjugated bilirubin which is hydrophobic into water soluble form that can be excreted through the urine and bile. So for acute rise in bilirubin levels, important thing is plasma pheresis may be required to rapidly reduce the bilirubin in the blood. However, the only curative treatment for this particular condition is a liver transplantation which provides the patient with a functional enzyme needed to process the bilirubin. That's the only way we can completely treat this condition. And the prognosis for this condition depends upon early and aggressive treatment. So without intervention, the condition leads to severe connectorus, which is fatal in life. However, with phototherapy and supportive care, patients can manage the condition to some extent until a liver transplant becomes feasible. So this is what we need to know about the Krigler-Najjar syndrome type 1. 